Now let's create two external stairs. Activate the stair tool, open its settings dialog, and select the stair hierarchy level. If you would like to skip to the next step, you can apply the external stair favorite from the Lesson 19 favorites. In the Geometry and Positioning panel, set up the following parameters. Stair top, not linked. Stair height, 450. Bottom offset to home story, minus 500. Home story, zero ground floor. Stair width, let's leave it as is because we'll modify the stair geometry graphically. Number of risers, 3. Riser height, 150. Going depth, fixed, 300. Baseline center, set the tags as nod load bearing element, and exterior. Go to the structure hierarchy level, and select monolithic flight structure. The type of the landing is not important because we'll use the last tread as the landing. On the monolithic flight hierarchy level, click on the horizontal bottom button, and make sure the horizontal bottom edit is zero. Switch to the tread level, and in the tread settings panel, set the tread thickness value to 50. In the tread component settings panel, open the style page, and uncheck the nosing checkbox. Then go to the milled recess page, and check the milled recess checkbox. On the non-slip accessory page, uncheck the non-slip accessory checkbox. Navigate to the representation page. Select stone finish for the tread building material. Check the override surfaces checkbox. And apply stone granite gray for the tread surface. Finally, go to the floor plan display hierarchy level and in the Floor Plan Display Layouts panel, select the Show on Home Story Only option. Click OK to close this dialog. Using the orange dot, move the guide arc on the left corner of the curved wall. Hover the cursor over the guide arc and press the Q key to mark it as the Snap Reference Arc. Then mark the left corner of the curved wall and the intersection point of the guide arc and the retaining wall is the reference snap points. In the info box, set downward as the stair input method. Click on the middle point of the blue reference snap line that appears between the snap reference points. Move the cursor along the blue perpendicular line and click when the flight contains three treads. With the shift key pressed, click on any side of the stair you will see two thick lines. These lines indicate the stair boundary. Using the Move Node command and the blue lines that appear automatically, move the boundary nodes on the surfaces of the adjacent walls. Now click on the Edit button to enter the Stair Edit mode. This mode allows us to edit and modify each tread geometry separately. Using the Edit Mode Display Palette, activate the Environment Display. Then select the top tread, and with the help of the Pet Palette commands, edit its geometry to make the entrance stair landing. Don't forget to curve the segment along the curved wall. In the Edit Mode Display Palette, switch to the Symbol View. This view allows you to edit 2D stair symbols graphically. 
Click on the end note of the walking line and move the arrow to the second riser. Press the Escape button three times to deselect the walking line. Exit the Edit mode and deselect the stair. Finally, apply the Remove All Guidelines command. Now, let's add one more stair to the opposite side of the building. Activate the stair tool again. In the info box, switch the input method to Upward. Select the left baseline. And type 2000 in the width field. Click on the intersection point of the pavement slabs in the right retaining wall. Then move the cursor downwards and click when the flight contains three treads. Select both pavement slabs. In one step, using the Offset Edge command, move their edges to the last stair tread, and hit Escape. 